China caught red-handed lying about its giant spy balloon hovering over America. It was last spotted this morning in northeast Kansas, and that's after it was seen loitering in Montana, which is home to our nuclear silos and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Beijing claims it is a civilian aircraft used for meteorological research. That got knocked off course by bad weather. But the Pentagon says that's a bunch of BS. We know this is a Chinese balloon um, and that it has the ability to maneuver. The balloon has changed its course, uh, which is again why we're monitoring it. The balloon continues to move eastward and is currently over the center of the continental United States. Again, we currently assess that the balloon does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground at this time and will continue to review, uh, excuse me, continue to monitor and review options. We assess that it'll probably be over the United States for a few, few days. So why the hell hasn't Joe Biden shot this thing down yet? <coughs> Defense officials have advised the president not to take it out, fearing it could cause debris to fall and put people in harm's way. Any potential debris field would be significant uh, and potentially cause civilian uh, injuries or deaths uh, or significant property damage. So again, this is part of the calculus in terms of our overall assessment. Uh, but again, we'll continue to monitor it. We'll continue to review our options uh, and keep you updated as able. But Republicans say Biden looks weak with each second he keeps this communist balloon in the air. Communist. We ought to bring this darn thing down. We, we have the capabilities and tools to do that. I, I'm confident that we, we could have done so safely. I think we probably still can do so safely. They could have shot that balloon down, and the biggest risk might have been hitting a cow, a prairie dog, or an antelope. This is a brazen act. And so at the political level, we have to push back. We have to defend American sovereignty. And uh, we have to make clear to the Chinese that we're not going to tolerate this. They're overflying our nuclear sites, and they keep getting away with it because we let them. There's no consequence. That tape? There's lots of questions, but the commander in chief is awfully quiet. Mr. President, folks, we're going to get to work. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Well, that last question, what is your message to China, I guess, uh, Harold, is that uh, we're going to stop Anthony Blinken from going over there. But, the, but the, the real question is, do we know how long that balloon has been here? And what, I mean, it, the way I see it, it looks like somebody read, uh, someone was on a commercial plane and noticed it first. But now we hear that it's been there since Tuesday. Uh, and today's Friday. <coughs> Why would they allow this thing to stay there? I don't know the answer to that. And I, I, there are more questions, uh, Judge, and I think you've raised some of them and we'll raise some of them around the table. I think for me, and again, it's good to be back around the table. I've been away <laughs> for, for a few days. The, uh, for me, the, the, I was curious, and Secretary Blinken, uh, whom I respect and like and know, said that when we detected the balloon, we at that point uh, prevented it from being able to take pictures and collect information. I would have two questions. One, when did we detect it? Uh, and two, do we believe it actually uh, was collecting information before uh, it was detected? Um, two, I think the president, uh, it, would be, it would behoove the president to, to brief congressional leaders, Democrat, Republican alike. Uh, and it would behoove someone, uh, perhaps the secretary of defense or the secretary of state or both or even the president, to give a briefing about this, to give, to give some comfort and confidence that uh, what uh, we can all assume and give the benefit of the doubt that it's being handled, but I think it's important they do that. The notion of it being shot down, I think, is something that will only, that, that talk will only increase if we don't get some, some information as the American people, those of us in the press, those who are concerned about this, uh, about why they're not doing that. I thought the Brigadier General was fine, uh, but we need, we need something more comprehensive, I think, to, to give people a sense, because at the heart of this, if we don't send a strong message to China, uh, and in a relationship where mutual interests are the centerpiece of a relationship, with behavior like this, you violate that relationship. Uh, and I think Democrats, Republicans, put that aside, Americans uh, want to know what this balloon is doing, how long it's been there, and if it caused or has caused 
any harm to our national security? Well, These are all I, legitimate those, questions. Those are the questions. So I'll go to you, Martha. My sources tell me that this balloon, they can, they can essentially uh, assess the trajectory. They can study the currents. There's a way to take it down. It doesn't have to be shot down. They can take it down as long as it's over an area where, you know, there's not going to be like Los Angeles or New York City, major uh, catastrophe. They haven't done that. How are we so sure of what this balloon is doing, especially since it is over <coughs> uh, seeing areas that are where our uh, nuclear sites are? Well, it's been across a couple of areas that it should have been pretty easy to do that over Alaska, apparently, for quite a while, then over Montana. And you saw I had a conversation earlier with Senator Steve Daines. He said, you know, that's why we call this big sky country. Right. Uh, we have plenty of open space in Montana. You know, when the people who live in the state want it to be shot down over their state, um, I think that's something that we need to think about. I also think that what would have, you know, for a lot of people who feel very uncomfortable about this, the greatest thing you could have heard from the president would be an early morning announcement, you know, uh, last night at, uh, or early this morning at 420, we disabled this mm -hmm. invader Chinese spy balloon because the Pentagon from their own lips said this is a surveillance vehicle, a surveillance balloon. Uh, and we took it down. We took it down safely. We have the technology to do exactly that. Um, we're examining it. We're taking a look at what's on here. And if it's innocuous, we can return it and the equipment to the Chinese government and make sure that this never happens again. Because if it ever does, we will be doing the same thing again. Because what we heard also this afternoon from, I was watching General Stavridis, and he said, expect more of these. Expect <coughs> more balloons to cross over the country, gathering information about our silos that keep our intercontinental ballistic missiles. So, I mean, it, it's a, you know, the, the message I think that a lot of Americans are going to take right now is that, you know, the southern border is open right. and the skies above America are open. So I'm not quite sure where people feel like uh, we have real sovereignty in this country at this moment based on just the facts on the ground. You know, Jesse, I mean, the, the, they are over areas where, uh, you know, that are very significant. They've got a front row view to those areas. China is buying land in some of these areas, not far from these areas. China's in the universities. Um, you know, China is not cooperating with us about Wuhan. And we're just letting them fly a balloon over our nation. I mean, is this a literal trial balloon to see what we would do if something real happened? Pop it. Pop it, bust it up, do whatever you need to do to it. Imagine you had a neighbor you hated who tried to sleep with your wife, stole all your Amazon boxes, and killed your grandmother with a virus, and then floated a little drone over your backyard. You're just going to sit there and watch this thing and say, you know what? It's just a weather balloon. We're monitoring it. No, you're going to shoot that thing out of the sky. Why not shoot it over Montana? Right. It hits a barn. Let's say it hits... Fred's barn. Fred's famous. In Montana, there's two people that live in Montana. That is your bomb barn that it lands on. The feds reimburse you the money, and then you set up a little museum for the rest of your life and live off that. You do Good Morning America, you do Fox and Friends, <coughs> that's it. Canada is supposed to be an ally, Judge. Mm -hmm. They're just going to watch. What is he looking at? The truckers? Keep your eyes open, Trudeau. You're supposed to be our boy. You're just going to let the balloon float by? Biden, the commander-in-chief, was overruled by the generals. If you're the commander-in-chief and you say shoot down the balloon and they say, Mr. President, go sit down and have a snack, that's not normal. You shoot that down. I don't care what the generals say. Knock it out. Also, once you knock it out, you can collect all the intel. We don't know what it is, Judge. How do we know it's not pushing spores. How about COVID-22, 23, whatever year it is? We have no idea what this thing is. Bring it down before it gets to New Jersey, because I'm about to lick one off. Mm. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, Greg, in 2001, there was a problem between the United States and China. We had a, 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 a flight that was, they said in their airspace, we said it wasn't, we were forced to land. Uh, and they took that plane, and they studied that plane for the intelligence. They kept our people there for 11 days. And the turnabout on our side is like, hey, no problem. They're collecting stuff on, on the weather. Mm. I think the bright side in all of this is at least we know the balloon was made in China because <laughs> it could be really, really worse. I heard Joe Biden just announced that we will be shooting it, but in the leg. <laughs> uh, has anybody considered steering it towards the Space Needle?
Seems to me that's the thing I would do rather than shoot it, you know. And, and it could also be Fang Fang. You never know. Valentine's Day is coming up. This was going to be a little surprise. But, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> a little surprise for Swalwell. Anyway, uh, how dare we question or speculate on the origins of this Chinese balloon? How dare we? If we can't bring up the origins of COVID because that was considered racist, how is that not racist? The origin of the balloon? You know, why should you be allowed to do that? Why is it any different? And about, what about that point that the Chinese keep saying about everything? Uh, everything's unintended. This was unintended. Uh, the fentanyl poisoning's unintended, obviously. COVID, unintended. Uh, the spy balloon, unintended. I'm beginning to think they're not intending, they're not tending to a lot of things. Everything's an accident between their badly made goods, COVID, fentanyl, and new spy balloons. I'm beginning to think maybe LeBron James should question their brown-nosing allegiances. Let's send them our own bad stuff. What is, you know, mom jeans, coconut water, boy <laughs> bands. How dare you? That yeah. stuff's good. But, <laughs> Lastly, in a serious note, how is it that the Bidens treat a spy balloon from our most potent adversary far better than the Trump supporters? You know, too bad they weren't this gun shy with Ashley Babbitt. You know, they'll, they'll, they, 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 they might shoot a balloon down if they find a red hat in it. <laughs> yep. Well said. Well said. <laughs> And I'm not sure this would have happened under a different president. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.